After predicting he would win a state championship, then actually following through, Jarrell was becoming an internet sensation. He began live streaming on Instagram Live and cultivated a huge following. People loved the brash, cocky attitude of Jarrell and his ability to back that energy up. Some people, however, loved to hate him. Of course, right? He had been called a thug, hooligan. Some well-known and respected people had flat out called him an idiot. Funny thing was, Jarrell had a 4.6 GPA. He was far from an idiot. One day, after a guy wrote an article predicting Jarrell's future would be flipping fries, Jarrell took to his Instagram to rant. Yo, if you write negative about me, I'm following your career. Everybody gonna call me petty in five years when I look back, see where you at, see where I'm at. By the way, in five years, I'll be in the NFL, beasting out. University of Georgia alum with a degree in marketing, I'm gonna be playing football, sitting back, signing checks, running business, and you still gonna be talking about. But let's focus on the present. I'm about to walk up in Georgia, day one starter, beast out, let's go. Jarrell was now a red shirt southern. Hadn't touched the field yet. He had put on some weight, but looking at his play style, really didn't affect him much. But going into this season, he was finally being given an opportunity to truly battle for a starting spot. He crushed the competition and was the undisputed starter by the time the season came around. Georgia had a pretty good team and was expected to compete for a national title. Jarrell had perhaps lost some of his motivation over these last couple of years. He came into the program as an 80 overall, and two years later, he was only an 86. Now, 86 sophomore ain't nothing to sneeze at, but it feels like he could have developed a lot more. Either way, he was finally getting his shot. Jarrell had lost contact with his old buddy Alvin, and had honestly forgotten that Alvin told him a few years back that he had gotten a scholarship off of the Georgia Tech. So when asked what he thought about their rival Georgia Tech, he answered, look man, I already won a chip in high school. I damn sure ain't about to lose to a high school offense, nah. Listen, anybody can play quarterback over there, man. You can take a cornerback off this team and play quarterback over there. So honestly, I ain't even worried about that, man. That's all the way at the end of the season. Right now, this is my first start. We got Clemson, prime time, right where I belong, man. Game of the week. So I'll holler at y'all after I thrash these boys. It go time. Let's get it. RTG fan, what's good, bro? I want to welcome y'all back to the How Friends Became Rival series. I hope y'all digging the series. Hope you're digging the story. I wanted to take and show you right here. Red shirt sophomore Jarrell Jackson, 6'6", 247. My man put on some weight. He was like 235, 235 in high school. Two years have passed. He gained 12 pounds. However, you know, again, that ain't really his strength anyway. 86 overall. Like I said in the story, he came in as an 80, has only developed by six points in two years. That's not good. But, you know, he's still the best on the roster this year, and he won out. 60 speed, 82 strength, um, bad agility in Excel, pretty good awareness, decent break tackle as well, good trucking. Got decent carrying, not necessarily a fumbler, even though he doesn't run the ball. Here we go, 95 throw power. 80 accuracy now this accuracy has improved it was about a probably about a 74 when he got here so it has gone up it's still not the greatest but it's pretty good 95 throw power you know that's his claim to fame he's standing in the pocket deliver the ball quick look at the rest of the offense we got brandon hills who is a big young sophomore we got two really good running backs we got jack Britt, 65 hound from snailville ben johnson mike moore and our boy Ostrander from high school, where he balled out in the championship game, he got a scholarship offer too. Taking a look at the preseason polls, man, you can see Georgia's number five. We better take on number nine, Clemson. Now tomorrow we're gonna be jumping back over, taking a look at Alvin, but right now Georgia Tech is number 51. I was trying to see if either one of my guys were preseason All-Americans. Um, nope. <laughs> All right, man, if there's anything else in here y'all want to see, just let me know, and I'll be sure to show that on the next go-round. Let's jump into this Clemson game. All right, man, 93 overall. They got a 95 offense. We got a 93 offense. Let's take a look at our unis, man. What we rocking? We probably rock the regular aways, but let's just see. Ooh, I like that. I really like that, but we're going to wait. We're going to wait. Can't just break that out first game. All right, man, we are taking the field first. I will be player locking on every single play. We're going to come out hand it off to this beast running back now. I know what it is. Second and eight. 
Ah, we got third down. Uh-oh. First opportunity to let it rip. We got a little rain. It's all good, though. Mmm. First pass. Uh-oh. Let's eat. All right, man. We got another third down. Let's go. Third and ten. That's blitz coming. Mmm. Bing. Let's go. All right. Let's eat. Let's go. Oh, I say, man, a hole right there. All right, come on, Jarrell. Third and seven, bro. Mm, bang. Let's go. Break that. All right, man. Look like Coach gained a little trust. We throwing it on first down. Let's hit the back. Ah, he goes out. Come on, dog. Wide open. All right, man. Third and goal. This is it. Running back, backfield. Bing! Oh, I thought he was about to not score. Bam, so Jarrell scores his first touchdown. And y'all let me know right now, and I'm going to do it for the rest of this game for sure. But uh, should I control the running backs? Because our running backs are supposed to be good. They suck when the computer use them. If you don't want me to, cool. If you do want me to, because maybe it'll be a little bit more um, realistic because the running backs would actually be good instead of being trash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or if you'd rather me just control Jarrell. I'm good either way. All right, man. Clemson goes down, but we're just doing Jarrell for this game, so... Oh, okay, okay. Ah. All right, coach, you know what time it is. Mm, let's go, boy. Bang, let's go. Oh, man, third and 20. Terrible sack right there. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! Try and catch me when I pull up in a zoom, zoom. Oh, no. Please don't make that call. We don't want no cause. They ain't ready for the cause. Ooh, baby, on the track, I'm going blue. That boy ready, man. He ready for the prime time. Let's go. Get in the end zone. Get in the end zone. All right, let's go. Ostrander. Boom, let's go. <laughs> the Buford High School connection. All right, man. Clemson comes down, scores again. This possession a little bit different. Too many drills. That was the brick. Jarrell takes a terrible sack and fumbles the ball, man. Why always me? That was bad. We got two timeouts and the clock is a ticking. I don't we might just run it out. That was a bomb. Overthrows it. Ha ha ha! And coach wants to call a screen, man. Jarrell wanna go deep. Coach calls the screen. We got to run that. Let's go. Oh, we would have got that one block. It would have. We would have had it. All right, Clemson get in half. They score again, bro. Man, you got to run the ball, man. You got to run the rock, bro. Here we go. Break a tap. Real try to force it. The old strander throws the interception. All right, man. Clemson haven't been stopped yet, and they continue to not be stopped. Now 
Now nah, let's see those strand there again. <laughs> let's go. Oh, good block. Come on. Oh, Strander. Bam, let's go. Come on, defense. Can we please get a stop, yo? Just once. Just one time. Oh, <laughs> let's go. All right, we don't necessarily want to go away from what have been working, but we can't just completely abandon the run. We can't just completely abandon it. There we go. Good run, baby. All right, man, here we go. Ostrander, bam. All right, man, third and seven, yo. This is it. Another huge play. <sighs> Let's go. Damn it. Defense has barely stopped them all game. We could kick a field goal and hope we about to go for this. Gussie called by coach. You're going to trust me. Let's do it. Damn it. We can't get it done, bro. Ah. A great battle. In the end, though, man, Jarrell cannot get it done. Played a good game, but we take the L in the end, bro. Uh, defense didn't help us a ton. However, you know, it is what it is. Checking him out, man. 304 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. He did promise a win, but he had one interception and a fumble. We didn't lose the fumble, but we lost a ton of yards. Um, like I said, y'all let me know if it's... If y'all think I should control the running back going forward, because, yeah, that right there, we averaged two yards a carry, and then we got way behind, we had to throw. So, our stranded had six grabs for 50 yards, two touchdowns, Jack Britt went off, five catches for 120, and, uh, yeah. Now, let's kind of dive a little, a little bit deeper into this. I'm going to go, so, 67% completion. Average 12 a carry, had a 45 yard, and we took two seconds. Okay, that's it. I thought it was a little bit more stats. I thought we could go over, but that's it, man. So, again, played a good game, but could not lead the team to victory, man. Either way, that was fun. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget, bro, click the thumbs up button. Also, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and check out the previous episodes. I do have them all numbered, and I got them in a playlist for you. My name is Flimlo Raps. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Why? Wow.